Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm back with a new art journal layout. It is a Halloween themed one and I will be playing with my Distress Oxide inks. So I will be working on my custom made 6x6 thick bound journal. This is made out of a mixed media paper by Ranger and you can see all the pages here which I have shared as video tutorials on my channel. So let's grab one of the pages and let's play with my Distress Oxide inks. Today I'm going to mix old and new Distress Oxide inks. So this is a brand new color, this is called Chipped Sapphire and um, it's a gorgeous color and I am going to mix uh, two more from uh, the older collections which are Dusty Concord and Seedless Preserves and I'm working on my non uh, stick uh, silicone mat which came with my glass mat this is going to ensure that the technique that I'm going for is going to work great so I am applying uh, three colors directly on top of my mat and now I'm going to spray them and I'm going to place on top my page. I'm dabbing my page a couple of times and as you can see in the beginning it's going to look like a big mess but don't uh, get stressed we will work on this background again and again adding more layers and it's going to look great at the end so just don't get discouraged. Now I have applied on my mat only chipped sapphire and I'm going to dab my page there just because I want to darken it up a little bit and I feel like I have enough of that uh, purple on my page. Now I'm going to make sure that this layer is also dry and then I will move on to a next layer and this time I'm going to use sub shutters. This is again one of the colors from the new collection. Since this is a Halloween page, I want to have touches of all the traditional Halloween colors, so I need to have some uh, purples and greens and a little bit of orange, which I am going to add next. So again, the same technique with carved pumpkin, spraying some water and dabbing in different areas, and you can see how my background is coming together. And I don't even stretch if there are some areas that they haven't touched the ink. I will uh, make sure that I will cover them up later on. Now my layers are dry and I'm going to add some uh, black suit distress ink all around the edges. I like to have uh, darkened up edges and I'm going to also bring in some chipped sapphire. And notice that as I'm going to add uh, even more layers on my background, I will not introduce any new colors. The ones that I already used on my background, these are the ones that I will use for breaking everything together. So now I'm going to clean my glass mat, and I love how easy it is to clean. And I will move on to do some splashes. All I'm doing here is adding water. The water is going to react with the distress oxiding on my page. So I'm going to leave a few seconds for this water to react with the ink. And then I'm going to use a towel and blot the excess water. And I'm never happy with how many splashes I have on a page. So I will add some uh, black gesso, with, uh, which is diluted with water here. And now I'm going to do some embossing, so I'm using my embossing pillow there. This is going to add some uh, powder on my page, which is going to remove static electricity. And um, the embossing powder is going to stick only where I want to. The stamp that I am uh, using is by Simon's Stamp and it is called Spider Web Background and it's from the latest release. I have uh, stamped it with Versamark ink and then I'm going to apply on top white embossing powder. The white powder that I'm using is by Nuvo, but any white powder works here. I am going to use my heat gun to heat set it and then I will repeat the same process on another area of my page. Also notice that I like to work on the edges. I prefer to do that instead of just stamping a whole image at the center of my page. I think it always makes it look more interesting. So again I have applied my white embossing powder and I'm going to heat set it and I will call this background done. So here is how it looks and I'm planning to use these two witches from the Ancestors Halloween collection by Tim Holtz and I want to give them something extra for the page so I decided to draw a cauldron. I am going to use a pencil at the back of this uh, black cardstock. I'll just draw a cauldron there 
give it some legs and uh, I will use my scissors to cut it out and as I was cutting it I made sure that I made it slightly bigger. Now I'm going to show you how I got the idea to draw the cauldron. So I have a Sizzix die which is uh, called Halloween set. I'm going to grab it here for you so you can see. But for the proportions of my page it was quite small. So I decided to draw my own. But I will use the bubbles from this set to cut them out and use them on my page. I cut out and colored my bubbles with Shappy Shutters and now I'm coloring my cauldron with uh, Dusty Concord just to add some uh, highlight at the center and at the outside, at the edges, I'm going to add a uh, black suit. As you can see I'm not introducing any new colors on the elements that I'm going to add on top because I don't want to turn it into looking super busy so I'm using the colors that I had already on my table from the background. Now I'm going to add a piece of black cardstock at the bottom of my page just to ground my witches somehow so that they don't uh, look as if they are flying there. And uh, I have this strip of paper from uh, my craft uh, pad by Tim Holtz which has um, craft core as you can see so I went ahead and add some black suit to cover it up. I'm going to stick it down there and I will use my scissors to uh, cut off the excess. And I get a lot of questions on why I pick uh, different mediums to stick things down on my page. This is completely random. I could uh, stick everything down with my matte medium or my Nouveau Deluxe glue or a sticky glue. It's uh, completely up to you. So here I am going to decide where everything is going to go and I'm going to tint them uh, slightly. So I will use some uh, distress markers here to add some uh, color on their faces and the hands. And that was tattered rose. Now I switch to scattered straw and I will add some color on the brooms. Now again this is great because it's uh, only going to tint slightly the photos and um, it's not going to cover up the details. I'm using my fingers to go over the colored areas just to make sure that they are not as bright and I'm also going to use my heat gun to make sure that this is completely dry. Now I'm going to use a uh, peeled paint and you can see how easy I can smudge it with my finger. I don't need a lot of color there, I just want a tint. And finally I'm using Dusty Concord to add touches of color on their hats as well as on their clothes. And now it's finally time to put everything together. I'm going to stick everything with my matte medium. And of course for that you can use your uh, white glue, your uh, glue stick, whatever works. Now everything is dry and I'm going to use my white Posca pen to add some details on all the elements that I have uh, stuck down. So I'm going to add some highlighting on my cauldron, the bubbles and even the girls. So I'm adding uh, highlighting on their hats, on uh, parts of their clothes. I feel like uh, these details bring everything together since I have white uh, spider web and at the same time it helps my elements pop against the background. Now lately I've been uh, using uh, washi tape on my art journals again and again and I absolutely love it. So today I'm using design tape by Tim Holtz and uh, all the tapes that I'm using come from the same set which is called Halloween and it comes with uh, six different uh, designs in one packaging. Now lately I've been using uh, chip quotes a lot on my pages and there is uh, a package which is called Halloween so I think it's perfect for my page today. So I've been uh, trying to decide which uh, ones of the quotes I want to use and I finally uh, settled down with these three ones that actually have the same uh, font. For some of them I'm adding even more design tape. I like to dress them up somehow. So again my white glue at the back. And uh, I will create a visual triangle with my three quotes here just because it is very pleasing to the eye and with so many options on uh, this quote chips package I just couldn't help it to use more than one quote. So this is my page already. All I need to do is to put it back on my disc bound journal. And I absolutely love how this uh, journal is coming along. I love the 6x6 size and I feel like I can work on more pages 
during the week. So thank you all for watching, I hope you had fun and you got inspired to create some Halloween projects. Here are some close-up photos on the page that I made for today. Don't forget that you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And I'll see you all next time.